Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. We've got a question just coming in right now. It says, uh, what do I say to protect me from evil? Ah, well, the last two surahs of the Quran are very effective for that. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falak and kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas recited all the way through. If you do this in the morning when you get up and when you go to bed at night, that's good. You can do it also whenever the sun goes down and recite those two surahs. You can throw in another one too in surah ikhlas. That would be surah 112, surah 113, and surah 114. Reciting them, of course, in the Arabic language and understanding the meaning yeah, that's a big benefit. And then, inshallah, Allah will protect you. Another is to recite Ayatul Kursi. This is probably the strongest and the best of all of the verses in the Quran, especially for seeking protection with Allah from any type of evil. That's verse 255 in chapter 2, Surah Baqarah. And we have another question. Okay. If God is good and God is love, then where does evil come from? Does it come from the devil? Well, if you said that the evil is coming from the devil, you might be right to an extent, but everything in, is in Allah's control. If you're asking who created evil, this is another subject. Allah created everything and gave us the option to choose between good and bad. Obviously, he had to create bad or there'd be no choice, would there? The choices that we make every day are what we're being rated on, and Allah wants us to make the right choices. This is why he's given us direction by sending prophets and revelations, such as the Bible, the Quran, and for us to follow the... Okay, here's another one. It says, why do most people believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins? One of the things I will caution you is, remember that a lot of times questions aren't necessarily true questions, because they may have a statement that's incorrect. In this case, I want to mention to you that Hindus, Buddhists, Jews, Muslims, Taoists, the Native Americans, aboriginals of Australia, and millions and millions of atheists and agnostics out there don't accept what you just said. So you said most people. It's not true. Maybe most people in your church, okay, do believe that. Maybe most people on your block or in your neighborhood have this belief. But that doesn't mean that most people in the world do. In fact, um, less than 20% of the world's population buy into the idea of Jesus dying on the cross for their sins, and even then, many of them can't exactly prove what that's all about. So and let's straighten questions out before we ask them, and uh, exactly what is it that people believe about these things, you'll get on our website. I want you to visit our site when you get a chance. Go to islammailbox.com. It's just like one word, islammailbox.com. Send us your question, and maybe we'll be reading it for you here on the mailbox. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum. Oh.